Hi. I've been following you for a year now. I'm so grateful to be seeing you right now. Do you okay. have a second? Yes, indeed. Step over here. All right. All right. Right here? Yeah. What's your name, love? Nicole. Nicole, nice to meet you. Nice Cameron to meet Devon you. Cameron Devon Crew. What question do you have? Well, I saw that you have a wife and a son now. Congratulations. Thank you. I, too, am wanting to have a family, and I want to get your input on this. So okay. I'm now in my 30s, and I have a really good corporate career. I make really good money, and me and my boyfriend have been together now for a few years. And um, like I said, I'm in my 30s, so I'm wanting to have a, and start a family with him. But the thing is, I, I don't know if I can trust him to be the financial, you know, head of the household. Um, the provider. Yes, the provider. And for me not to work at all because I want to raise our kids without having to work. So I don't know if I can trust him to take care of us financially. I understand. First of all, congratulations to you for wanting a family. It's a beautiful thing. And unfortunately, it's not commonly wanted today in our society. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you not trust the man you've been with for two years plus to be the provider? What's going on? Well, he's lost his job before and, you know, he's in between jobs. Like, I don't, I don't know. And, and he can't really get... M like, multiple times? Yeah, more than once. And the thing is that he can't really get, like, a really good high-paying job. Right. So do you right. make more money than your man? Yes, I do. Why are you with a man who you made more money than in the beginning? Exactly. Well, in the beginning, we weren't really, like, looking for anything, and then we just kind of fell in love with each other, and then... I understand. Mm -hmm. But you knew his income. Exactly. Yes. And I imagine you always were family-oriented, right? Yes. So when you met that man, and you knew his income and his situation, and you saw the things happening, the having mm -hmm. a job, the losing the job, coming back to a different career, losing the job, why did you choose and stay with that man? We have to get yeah. to the root of that. Like I said, I don't know, we just like kind of fell in love and then he started telling me that he wanted to start a family with me too and we've just been together for so long. It's hard for me to imagine like leaving him and having to start over now that I'm in my 30s looking for a man who can... Right, know. right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna address two things here. Number one is why you chose the man. Hmm. And I don't want to be overly assumptive, but let me just say this because it's so common in women who come to me with questions and for consultation advice. A lot of women who are independent, which it sounds like you are, who have a career, who have their stuff together, they end up with the men who are what I would call half-ass men. Mm. They have a job, sure. They go to the gym, sure. But it always falls off and then it comes back. Mm. And then it falls off and then it comes back. A lot of women are drawn to these men yep. for no other reason than what I think is the fact that He's a safe bet. You hmm. know that by being with that man, he's not going to have options of other women yep. because he's on his shit, making a lot of money, on point physically, looking handsome as possible to cheat on you. Right. And a lot of times women have been in relationships in their early 18 to 21 year old lives where they got cheated on by a guy who was top notch at that age. And what happens is you start unconsciously going for lower quality men hmm. because you know by being Safer. with higher quality men that yeah. that man has options and he might give you the same trauma that you experienced earlier in your life. True. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Now, you have to resolve that trauma within you. When you look at the man you have and you're not satisfied, obviously you want a man who's better, making more money, more on top of his game, right? Yeah. Right? Now that's gonna mean that that man is gonna be more desired by other women. Yeah. And you have to be okay with the fact that your man is top notch, other women are gonna want him, but he wants to be with you. And a lot of times that comes down to not how trustworthy is your man, although that is important, but how much do you value yourself and how much mm. self-esteem do you have? If you hold insecurities in the fact that in the past, you felt like you weren't good enough, you didn't meet all your man's needs, and that's why he cheated. Hmm. You have to let that part go. You have to understand that however somebody acts in a relationship has more to do with who they are as a person and very little to none to do with who you are as a person. Yeah. So if you were cheated on in the past, that's because that man was a hoe. <laughs> a lot of men have to go through a player stage and kind of play the field, 
serve the buffet line and taste different cuisines, so to speak, of women to know what they want. Earlier in life, a lot of men are not ready to settle down True. and get ready for a family and long-term committed relationships. So now that you know that's what you want, that's a good thing, look at your past relationship and learn from the red flags that you should have looked at and realized, okay, this man is probably out, a little detached from me, probably yeah. playing the field. And if you see those red flags again in the future, then it's okay and healthy to acknowledge that and play it accordingly and maybe distance yourself from a future relationship. Now, the second part, what was your second concern? That he wouldn't um, provide. Exactly. Hmm. All right. Now, when we look at this, and you're a woman who has a career, at the end of the day, this is a straight path forward. You need to find a man who's bossed up, who has a career or a business, has an education, and has things going on inside of his life. The number one problem with women who have careers is that you can't let go of your independence and yep. submit to a man who has his stuff going on. Now, I yep. want you to answer this straightforward. Like me, myself, and other men like me, we have our careers, we make money, we're financially sound, we're mentally sound, we're emotionally sound. Are you willing to let go of your financial independence and your mental independence, I would say to a certain degree, in terms of making decisions mm. to let a man like us lead you? Are you ready for that? I don't know. Exactly, See? exactly. You're so used to leading yourself. Yep. Ever since that trauma, up until now, having a career, doing what you do, you need to develop a sense of trust in your ability to choose a good, solid man who's gonna take care of you, be good by you, be loyal to you, take care of yourself and your future children. The way you do that is sort it out in your mind. Yeah. What kind of woman are you? What is your value as a woman that you can offer to a man? When you have that to offer to a man, don't settle for less. Now, you also need to know what kind of man you want. What man is capable and qualified to lead you and your future family to prosperity and abundance? Yeah. At that point, judge the man's character. Is he a player playing the field? Or is he a man looking to square up, settle mm -hmm. down, get out the game, and have right. a family? Does that all make sense? Yes. <laughs> okay. You do all that, and you will be all right. All right, love? Thank you so much. <laughs> you have a beautiful night. Wow. Those are some gems that he dropped. But of all the gems that you've heard, I want you to recognize what she said. Or what was evident. She chose the man. And this is what happens. We women, we choose the men that we decide to partner up with, to lay down with. So it's not forced on us. A, a man may find a good wife, but we as women choose the man. Okay. We do the choosing. So if she's in a relationship with a man that she thinks should be making more money, uh, he's had some issues with keeping jobs, you know, he's been in and out and she's like, well, I don't know why I choose him. So why would you get involved with a man that you know, that's clearly not who you want to be with. And he doesn't have all the things that you help that you desire in a man. She's being with this man, but yet it's like women typically do this. They choose a man that may not be having steady income. He may have other issues going on, but then to turn around and talk about he's this, he's no good, he's a loser and all this to their friends and to the internet. But you, you're the one who choose him. So what I really want to drive home here of all the other gems that this gentleman has shared is the lack of accountability by modern women. They take no accountability for their actions. They take no accountability for the men that they choose to be with and to lay down with. 